From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories. Too many coronavirus cases lately, so now Cat Island, North and Central Andros, joined parts of the Berry Islands, now under lockdown. Travel to and from Cat Island and North and Central Andros is prohibited during the lockdown, except for essential workers, Royal Bahamas Police Force, Royal Bahamas Defense Force, healthcare professionals, Bahamas power and light technical personnel, mailboat and sea corps operators, and commercial bank personnel, or as otherwise approved by the company and authority. There will be no in-person activities permitted. Most regrettably, this also means there will be no burials held during this period. Prime Minister Min is making that announcement on Sunday, and there's another area of concern. The Prime Minister confirming that the virus is now spreading more in young people than they saw before. The weekend corona numbers, 129 more confirmed cases, two more confirmed deaths, a 37-year-old woman and a 75-year-old man, both from the capital. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The vaccination effort continues. More than 50,000 persons now have their first shot, and more than 6,000 are now fully vaccinated. The Prime Minister again urging persons to get vaccinated. He says it's the way out of the pandemic for the country. Firefighters in the capital busy over the weekend dealing with a couple of blazes, including one at a house in the Ridgeland Park West area. The body of a man discovered in that house after the fire was put out. Police are investigating. In Bimini, police there are looking into an apparent drowning incident. The body of a man found floating in a sinkhole near the airport. Police say the victim is a ground Bahama man who was working on a construction site on Bimini. In Abaco, a 21-year-old man died in a fatal car crash in the air of Cherokee Sound. The victim, identified as Alex Kemp, a Winding Bay employee, was on his way to work when he apparently lost control of his vehicle and hit a utility pole. Health officials have given the old clear you can go ahead and eat raw conch again, but they suggest that you be vigilant. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Sunny skies today, highs in the low to mid-80s. 83 at Freeport, 85 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories in place. Now winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the low to upper 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines, working now to keep that Middle East ceasefire in place. U.S. Secretary of State Blinken is now in the area to try and bolster the situation. He's holding talks with both sides. Different situations for countries dealing with the coronavirus, the U.S. and Britain among those getting ready to drop restrictions following their vaccination efforts. Some countries are now trying to catch up, including India. Cases have dropped there, but they have a challenge with vaccine. Surges also reported from Taiwan and from Japan. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 491, SO 494, Rubis $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. There's a track and field update in the Tribune Sports. 
featuring Shawnee. She's ready for the Olympics if they come off. You can read the latest on that in the Tribune Sports and find out who qualified for the World Championships over the weekend at the stadium. Latest on DeAndre Ayton and the Suns in their NBA playoff debut. It was a good one for him and the team. Get the numbers. John Quill Jones continues her outstanding play to start the WNBA season, and the Sun is undefeated, 5-0. and Good numbers for her yesterday against Las Vegas, 19 points, 11 rebounds. And your Major League Baseball update is in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of today's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.